Welcome to Fresh Waters, spiritual reflections helping you to grow in faith. Today's session is about being a witness with compassion. The key concept is compassion comes when we see people's needs. The scripture today is from Matthew chapter 9, verses 35 to 38. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them, because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. How do you see people? Do you see people around you as sources of irritation and pain? Or do you see people in pain, crying out for some kind of help? Can you really say that you have compassion for people, or do you not care? We often so preoccupied with ourselves that we tend to look right past other people's needs. Jesus taught us how we ought to see people. He demonstrated that people are important. He traveled through significant towns and insignificant tiny villages. He did not discriminate to whom he would minister. Jesus preached the good news and taught in synagogues. He became involved with people through his teaching preaching, and healing ministry. It was in the midst of his involvement with people that he began to see more of their needs. Crowds of people came to Jesus to hear his teaching and to see his healing. Jesus was moved with compassion, a deep emotion that came from the depths of his being when he saw how spiritually lost they were. He saw them as people harassed, devastated by their sinful and hopeless condition. He saw them as helpless as an innocent child who would lay in pain, suffering from a mortal wound in a battle that he had no involvement. He saw them as sheep without a shepherd to lead, protect, and care for them. You see, Jesus had compassion when he saw people's needs. And that's how we can have compassion when we begin to see the needs of those around us. He told his disciples that the spiritual harvest for people is plentiful, but the workers are few. The harvest is a window of opportunity that quickly passes by. Any fruit not harvested will rot and become useless. There is an implication of a limited window of opportunity for certain people to be saved. We must pray to the Lord for workers in his harvest field. There are many people around us who are ripe for the harvest. My prayer for you today is that you will take full advantage of the harvest before this window of opportunity closes. Just think about it. Who are the people around you that moves you with compassion? Do you see the spiritually lost around you? Are you taking advantage of the spiritual readiness of people around you? What one thing can you do this week to increase your compassion for the lost? May God bless you in your spiritual journey.